Hello everybody and welcome back to Calico. Hello Pudgems! I don't have favourites but look at her Pudgems! Wiggle 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 wiggle. They're so floppy! Go over there. Okay so <laughs> hello little little Patches the Red Fox. And you're so cute too. Oh look at this little black belly. So cute. Right, so anyway, let's go downstairs and we've got a few quests to hand in today, if I remember rightly. Shall we go on the giant bunny rabbit or should we go on the arctic fox today? Oh, I just don't know. I think arctic fox. Arctic fox runs like super fast and really cool and I really, really, really like him. So we're going to head into town or at least... I didn't see a ton of people in my shop today, so I'm thinking that they'll be in town, hopefully. Um, we need to see Ash, and who else do we need to see? Let's have a look. Kiva, Maya, and Ash. Oh, actually, Maya's up here. Hello! Little owl girl. She's not quite as owly as her, as her friend, though. Do you have owl feet? Like your friend does, but you have do you have human feet? Look, stay still, I'm trying to see your feet. I I, I think I think she's more human. Okay, so hello there. Uh I wanted to talk to you about something. What is it, darling? I'm here with a special delivery. It's from Freya. Oh my gosh, donuts, that's so sweet. I don't know what I did to deserve that girl. And you've been so kind to deliver this. I'm sorry to have you running all over the place, but could I also ask a favour of you? The next time you head up to see Freya, could you bring her some cookies? It's her total favourite. Let her know it's from me. I can do that. Thanks, darling. Gotta get back to my owls, but you have yourself a great day, okay? Right, so next time I see anything with cookies on it, I need to do that. Now, do I need to go back up? Um... Make donuts, talk to Maya, make cookies. Okay, this is a long quest here. Talk to Ash about the spooky furniture. Alright, okay, let's go find Kiva and Ash. They should be behind here. I know, sorry, I forgot I forgot to, to ride on you. You're much faster than I am. You're quite right. Quite, quite right. All right, so let's um quickly have a chat with Oliver and see if there's any cookie recipes for sale today. Hair tie, sloth toy, egg wall deco, cloud table, Tobin sofa, <laughs> carpet, citrus sofa, egg chair, egg table. I think I bought some citrus chairs, like bar stool things yesterday, and I haven't put them down in the cafe. I'll have to do that today. Alright, so nothing particular there. I'm going to just pop down here and have a little look. Have a little look at this shop and see if there's any cookie recipes in here. No, there's a croissant recipe and a bagel recipe. I mean, bagel, I could pick that one up. It's not too expensive. Don't know. I'm going to leave it for now, I think. So I wonder who would have cookies. Cookie recipe. Unless I already have a cookie recipe, but I'm pretty sure I don't. Also, where's Ash? Ash was not there. Okay. Ash, where are you? Probably at my cafe. Is Kiva over by her house then? I'm guessing not such a pretty house. She has the most beautiful house in the whole wide world. Thumbnail time. <laughs> she has such a pretty house. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have a look on the map and see if I can find where they are. 
It seems to me like everyone is kind of hanging around. There's no one in my place, so they're all hanging around here somewhere. Just got to find them, I guess. Let's head up the hill. Maybe they're all in the garden. Well, that's Blossom and Sunny. Hmm. Aha! Kiva, I see you. I see you over there. Where's Oliver running off to, I wonder? Have a chat. Ah! A is talk, but it's also jump. Hey, friendo, how are you doing today? I did the thing. I was in the cafe earlier and saw Patches there. Patches? Oh, I guess I forgot to tell you, but that's what I call the red panda I told you about. I was so happy to see her in the cafe. Lily was in there playing with her and she was loving the attention. I know Patches will be happy there. Here, take this as thanks. It's Patches' favourite toy. I won't have much use for it now that she's with you. Oh, I got some money for that. Hey, friendo, how are you doing today? Need anything? I hope I'll see you at the Magical Mixer at the Community Centre later this week. It's a monthly event I organise to drum up community spirit and give everyone a chance to mingle with their neighbours. Even some people from out of town came by sometimes, like Kai from the Lighthouse. It's a lot of fun, but there's so much to organise. Even though I do this every month, I still feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh dear, food. I don't have anything prepared at all. Do you think you could help? I want to make sure there's something there for everyone, so I'll need one of each food type. Or one food of each type. Can you bring me sweet, savoury and fancy food sometime this week? Uh, I'll bring whole spread. You really are a treasure. I'm so happy to have you around. Hmm. Do we have... We probably have sweet and savoury, but do we have fancy food? I will have to have a look. Oh, apparently I already have them. Okay, let's just chat again then. Hey, friendo, how are you doing? I did the thing. Oh, is the food for the magical mixer? Oh, is this the food for the magical mixer? This all looks delicious. Thank you so much. Here, take this as thanks. Woohoo, I've just got a few more things ready. I need to find chairs and a tablecloth. Here, let me repay you for your help. And I'll throw in a little something extra. My secret flan recipe. It's my favourite food. Maybe I'll remember to order these for the next magical mixer. Thanks again. I hope I'll see you back here later for the event. A thousand credits as well. Wonderful. Hey, Ash. What's up? I did the thing. Hey, I saw the spooky furniture that you added to the cafe. It's awesome. You really got up what I was talking about, huh? Didn't that totally change up the vibe? No, I purposely chose it so it didn't. Here, you should take this stuff for the cafe too. Probably won't notice it's missing. Oh, Estelle probably won't notice it's missing. Probably. You stole it off Estelle. How dare you. What's up? What's for sale? Okay, all the same stuff that's in the shop. That's fine. What's up? Need anything? Not today. So you've done all of your stuff. Do you need anything? Darling, so good to see you. Need anything? Apologies, you've caught me in the middle of 20 different things. Work seems to be endless when you're your own boss. Say, can I ask a favour of you? I just had an item come in for Mayor Kiva and I'm too busy to deliver it right now. Normally Ash does deliveries, but I've got them on inventory today. Would you be willing to take this over to the Mayor? Is this customised ergonomic desk chair for... Oh, sorry, it's this. Customised ergonomic desk chair for her office that she ordered in. I know she's been looking forward to getting this to help her with her work, so the sooner it gets to her, the better. Okay, I can do that. I was doing so well at not tripping over my words, and this conversation is bleh. Darling, you're a lifesaver. Okay. Oh, so is Ash gender neutral? I got a feeling. Let's have a quick look. Because uh, there was a, a them pronoun used there. Town. Nope. Nope. Townsfolk. Oh, Maribel likes me three already. That's amazing. Ash likes me two. I wonder if I can give them presents. I'll have to um I'll have to like play around with that, maybe. But Ash, yeah, they them. So that's uh, a gender neutral character. I did wonder when they had the pronouns in if they would include a gender neutral character. So that's quite nice to see. Alright, okay, let's so Kiba likes a three stars as well. Three hearts. Three hearts for Maribel. Two hearts for Ash. And Freya and Lumi, and then QT City, we've got four people to meet. Clover Coast, we've got one. Golden Grove, we've got two. And one in the Witching Woods. And we have met Oliver, who is like a 
the, the question mark person. So that's why that's why there was an extra person, even though I had all the people in the town. Favourite food, bread. Oliver is a mysterious travelling sales cat who speaks only in meows. He moves from place to place, peddling a collection of eclectic and unusual wares. Cool. Whee! Right, okay, so. Let's go. And... Deliver to Kiva, oh, who is right here, so that's amazing. And then we're going up the hill to see to see Autumn. Right, so hey friendo, how are you doing today? I wanted to talk to you about something. It's nice to see you again, how can I help? Actually, I'm here to help you today. I've got a package from Estelle for you. Aha, is it the special chair I ordered? Oh, I'm so happy, my sore back. And I thank you endlessly. Tell Estelle I love it. Okay, I will. Right, off to Autumn's house. I love riding around on my fox in this. It's just like the cutest, nicest thing. This kind of like, the art style reminds me of like a 2D point and click adventure or something like that. Only it's in 3D and it's not point and click. But the, the sort of art style you might see in some sort of 2D point and click adventure. But it's been made into a, a game that's more my style, so. I do like my point and clicks, but I don't think you guys like them as much as I like playing them because I think it frustrates you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I, I keep them on my own time. It's either I, I pick it up super quick or you guys pick it up quicker than me or I pick it up quicker than you the solution to uh, like the puzzles and in those sorts of things and then and then nobody's really happy I find I've done a few of them and I'm not gonna rule out ever doing them again but you know there are certain games that I'm like mm, that's not as good as this one and when I'm choosing my games I'm, I'm a lot more fussy nowadays I would say all right awesome greetings traveler do you need anything I'm relieved that our plan to get the mountain pass open worked great job traveler Think you'll be passing through there again soon? Definitely. If you're going soon, could you do something for me? I make the herbal potions that Lumi uses at the onsen, and she placed an order right before the landslide happened. If you take it up there for me, I can give you some of the payment. Sure, but why don't you take it yourself? Ugh, it's kind of embarrassing. Okay, fine. To be honest, I've been avoiding going up there for a little while now. It's because of Lumi, actually. The two of us have worked together forever. We used to spend hours hanging out at the onsen and talking about new recipes for our potions. The thing is, ever since I turned myself into a cat, I just can't stand going into the hot springs. I tried to explain to Lumi that I just don't want to anymore, but she can't seem to accept it. She just doesn't like water because she's half cat. She's always trying to come up with some new magical cure that will make me enjoy the onsen again. But this is who I am now. I like it, and I wish she would get that. I'm going to say that sounds difficult. I've tried to talk to her, but I always get too upset. Maybe you could try. But I get it if you don't want to get involved. I'll try talking to her. Really, would you? Thank you, Traveller. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, your, your bum is stuck in the door there. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was so janky. But I'm glad I didn't get stuck. That was quite good. I'm um, thinking I might need to make some more like nice stuff. Mm, actually... I haven't looked in her shop. What if she has a cookie recipe? I need to find someone that's got a cookie recipe. I don't know who will, but someone might. And the more shops I go to and check out, the better. Right, so, I'm gonna chat. Greetings, what's for sale? So, double time potion, dreamer potion. Change an animal to a sparkling night version of itself. Oh my goodness. That, that, that would be so beautiful. Turn hair into a colourful cosmic void. Change time to morning. Time to night. Become an ice cream sundae. Turns a bird into a griffin, or at least that was the plan. It's not quite perfect. Only works on birds. Wow. It's reverse griffin potion? Alright. I don't know what a reverse griffin is. Is it maybe like... 
it's meant to be the body of a lion and the head of a griff of a of an eagle or something, and it's like the back the wrong way around. It's like a head of a lion on a bird. I almost want to buy it just to find out, but I what I'm gonna buy is magical hair potion. Which toy set loose to fly around curious animals? No. no. Hair potion. I'm gonna get the hair potion. Right, so let's try this. Wow, look at my hair. My hair is like space. I have space hair. I wonder how long this lasts for. Or if it's forever. I wouldn't even mind if it was. Okay, but no cookies there. No cookie recipes. Um, so we need to go, we need to make cookies, talk to Estelle, oh, right, and talk to Lumi, I might just go up to the mountain and talk to Lumi, I want to go back to my place and check, I need to know why, why the giant cat is in here, I wonder if I go in the other end, Oh, hang on, let's go down the, the path. If I go around the other end, if I can talk to this cat. Look at it, it's massive. It's stuck in this lot. Well, I'm assuming it's stuck. Maybe not. Oh, hang on. Can I not get down there? Apparently not. There's definitely an invisible wall there. So I actually think that that might be something to do with the lighthouse. Now, I don't think I can go to the lighthouse until I have opened it up. So it looks to me like each part of the star, so there's like a heart in the middle, which I, again, I only just realized last episode it was a star. And today I only just realized the middle was a heart. So observant. Anyway, um... <laughs> It looks like each point on the star is an area that I need to open up, and I've only so far opened up the mountain. So, yeah, I guess we've got that to do, still. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna head up the mountain, and I'll look at all the shops up there and just see if there's any cookie recipes. And then next time I see Estelle, I'll just um, talk to her. up the mountain I just need to I want to go into my kitchen quickly first just on the way past and just check that I don't already know how to make a cookie because that would be the stupidest thing if I'm going around everywhere like oh where's the cookie recipe and I already like knew it, it was a basic recipe or something so let's just make sure I am looking forward to trying all those potions so oh, kitchen she lab kitchen Right, okay, so. Donut, roll cake, cupcake, flan, coffee, macaroon, cornet. Or macaron, sorry, I'm saying it wrong. I'm probably still saying it wrong. <sighs> I should have looked that up before I started. This is where it's actually still pronounced macaroon, even though it's like written macaron. Uh, okay, Arctic Fox, we need to go up the mountain. Oh, I could take you instead. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah. I've actually never been down this way. Did it just go around the farm? Just a little racetrack? Looks like it. I have a fish pond. How did I never know that I had a fish pond before? My goodness. Jump the fence. Woo! We're just like... Just like a show jumper, meow. Just saying hi. Must have accidentally clicked on him. Right, let's go up the mountain. And let's go and do the Lumi quest. But also we can then see if Lumi has any cookie recipes in the shop. And we'll talk to talk to the uh, the owl lady on the way as well. But unfortunately, I, I needed to come up here with the cookies, but uh, 
I don't think that's going to work because I don't have a recipe. I can't make them. Hello, Capybara. So beautiful. I feel like I'm in some kind of like Studio Ghibli anime or something. <laughs> That's what I feel. I feel like I'm taking part in it and it's so beautiful. This is a very long... I, I need like... This is why I probably need like a, a bird that I can fly with the griffin potion or whatever um, so that I can get all the way up the mountain without... Uh, get all the way up the mountain without um, having to climb all the way up that path. That's a very long path. Okay, hello Lumi. Hi. Hi. Now you don't have better hair than me anymore, I feel. I feel like my hair is really cool. Anyway. In fact, I wonder how it would work with other styles, or if I would lose the magical effect if I did another style. Oh, no. Hello, I hope you're doing well today. I wanted to talk to you about something. Come on in, it's good to see you again. Oh, you brought Autumn's potions for me, thank you so much. Gosh, I was hoping she'd come herself though. I haven't seen her in ages because of the landslide. And I had a great new idea for a magical swimsuit that would keep her dry while she soaks. She doesn't like to get wet anymore now that she's part cat. Actually about that, hmm, did she say something to you? She feels like you don't accept her new form. Oh dear, I don't feel that way at all. I think it's really cool that Autumn is part cat. She's so amazing and adaptable for just being totally okay with it, too. I just feel so bad that she can't use the onsen anymore. She gives me a big discount because I always used to let her soak for free, too. Besides, I miss hanging out with her in the hot springs. I think she'd appreciate hearing all that. Thanks, newcomer. Newcomer, even. Newcomer? That's like cucumber. <laughs> Only for new people. Okay, I'll remember that. Anyway, here's the payment for Autumn. Can you bring it back to her? Yeah, sure. I totally won't keep it. La 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 la. Right, Arctic Fox. I wonder if we can just like... Wee. Wee. Trying not to end up um, jumping in the water. That was a pretty good Geronimo, I think. So, we're gonna head straight back to town. And we'll go and see Autumn. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Check with anybody about cookie recipes. Ah, I, so, I suck so badly. I really suck. Oh, hello. You, I might be able to ask you about your stuff for sale. Hello, need anything? Today's a special day. I found abandoned owl eggs in the forest a while back and they're almost ready to hatch. I have them under a heat lamp in my bedroom. We should have little owl chicks any hour now. That's so amazing. I know, I can't wait for them to see the world. I'm worried about the heat lamp I'm using though. That's what keeps the baby owls and the eggs warm. It's gone out a couple of times and I had to fiddle with it to get it working again. Is it very important? Super important. It's not safe for the owl chicks if they don't stay warm. Honestly, I should just get a different heat lamp, but I'm worried to leave the eggs in case this one dies again while I'm gone. I need to stay here and keep them warm as best I can, even though she's like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Can I ask you to run to Estelle's shop and get another heat lamp from her and come back? Of course, I don't want anything bad to happen to the baby owls. Okay, but we're going to do that after we've gone looking for cookie recipes. I'm sure the baby owls will be fine in the meantime. Totally will not die. Yep, yep. So I'm just going to head over here and see if there is a shop. Hey Freya, do you have a shop? No. Ah, oh, need anything? I sure miss Maya. Can you make some donuts for her when you have a chance? Oh, well, I already did that. Please don't tell me I have another, another donut quest. No, I don't. That's fine. So it's basically trying to tell me that we're still in that in that little quest line. Um, so I'm gonna head back up the hill. It's my own fault for Geronimoing too soon. 
But I want to see if there is a shop up here. If not, then I'm going to have to go all around the town and just check out other people. See if they have cookie recipes to sell. And if they do not, then I don't know. I guess I'll have to leave it for until they find new areas, new quests, and new people that might give me that recipe. But I, I would kick myself if it was up here and I hadn't checked, so. Also, we get to Geronimo all over again. Yay! Okay. I am the worst at, like, just completely uh, abusing the system when it comes to games with no fall damage. Right. Hi. Hi, hi. Let's have a chat. Hello, I hope you're doing well today. Uh, need anything? Ah, are you here for a soak? Only one of our springs is open right now. I hope that's okay with you. Of course, that's fine. We just had a big birthday party here and some kids from Cutie City rented out the whole onsen. I'm not one to complain about good business, but they left a bit of a mess here, so we're doing a little clean-up around some of the pools. And to make things worse, we were making so much noise that all the capybaras that usually hang out in the onsen all ran off. I'm worried about them out there in the cold. Oh wait, but now you're here. Since you run the cute cat, sorry, the cat cafe. It should be the cute cat cafe. You must be great with animals, right? Do you think you could round up some of my runaway children for me? I'm sure we'll have the whole place up and running again by the time you finish. Sure, I'm great at finding animals. That would be wonderful. There were three capybaras living here that the party scared off. They can't have gotten too far. You should try looking in the areas nearby. All right. Well, we definitely, definitely, 100% saw one down by Freya, owl girl. Um, so I'll probably look down there. I'm just having a quick look around here. Oh, what's down here? That's rather pretty. Is that a giant bell? Is that where the mountains are giant cat or something? Oh! I'm I was just trying to see. I thought that the mountain was a giant cat. I can't see though. Oh well, I guess I'm climbing back up again then. I don't know how far I can climb. Ah, I'm in the river! Oh no, this is not going well. Alright, I want to go down that way, I think. Well, how, can I get back up from here? I'm not sure. I think I may need to just drop down and climb back up again. But I know that no one had a cookie recipe. I tell you that right now. Um, I'm hoping, possibly, that my mount will, my Arctic Fox mount will follow me. Yes, you managed to make it. Well done. You're the coolest. It's also like nine o'clock at night as well. I'm gonna have to go back home, I think. We'll have to look for capybara, uh, yeah, capybaras again in the morning. I think it's time to go to bed. I wonder when I'm going to find cookies then. I don't know. We didn't have a very productive day today. We handed in a load of quests. Um, I went to see Autumn, but she didn't know anything about the giant cat. But I think whoever lives in the lighthouse might know a bit more, so... Not the time headphones! But I prepared one earlier, so it's fine. Just like Blue Peter in this house. I bet you loads of you don't know what Blue Peter is. You're either too young, or you don't live in the UK. But Blue Peter used to be a really cool program that I watched when I was a kid. Okay, so let's uh, wake up and just go downstairs. I might do a bit of baking today. Hello, everybody. I don't think we've got anything left. Gosh, yes, definitely, definitely time to do some baking. Um... So we don't have any flans or cornets. Uh, 
I make a cornet. That looks to me a bit like a chocolate croissant sort of thing. Possibly. And if that's the case, then they are rather delicious. I've got two display cases, so I'm wondering why I still can't make like more stuff, but that's fine. Let's put the ingredients in. The, uh, to, this is the first time we get to use chocolate. Got tea, vanilla, egg, cream, flour, sugar, butter. Butter there. Cream. Why does the butter always do this? No! Can I do anything about the butter being there? Oh no. Oops. Aha! Aha, we got a new butter. Ha 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 ha. I've got to be so careful with it though. <laughs> it just flies everywhere. Try that. Yes, perfect. Right, I've got an egg to throw in. Um, cream, chocolate, she loves favourite food, yeast is around the back there, sugar, oh sugar should be just right here. No wonder it's so tasty, look at all the really really fattening ingredients that go into it. Flour and then yeast. So one thing when I found with um, the whole lockdown baking thing is if you don't have yeast, which I, we couldn't find like in sort of the springtime. But if you don't have it, oh, the yeast is this side, isn't it? It's this one. Uh, if you don't have yeast, there's so many things you can't make. It's, it's a really, really important ingredient. Probably second only to flour, really. Let's throw that on the tray. Wonderful. So I'm guessing if I made like a flan, then I could go into the display case maybe and change things over. So maybe if I have more things than are in the display case. An interesting one that. Definitely interesting. Was that dog whining there? Oh, that's so sad. Okay, I need to talk to Estelle. Talk to Estelle. Make cookies and talk to Autumn. Okay. Let's go talk to Estelle and Autumn. And then we'll go find the capybaras. Also, we should go and find a skirt. I really, really feel like a skirt or trousers would be better than shorts. One of the two. I'm thinking a skirt, though. But I'd be pretty happy with whatever I can find. Now, do you have any sort of rotating inventory, Mr. Oliver? I would like to check. What do you have for sale today? Meow? What's for sale? Leopard plushy uh, cheesecake recipe. Ooh. But what I don't want is to take the cheesecake recipe and then not be able to fight and like get the cookie recipe because they have enough money. That would be terrible. Okay, let's see. An elephant hat. Wow, that's impressive. A corset, cat ears. Crop twenty, a zip twenty. No, we need to keep waiting. I think if I want any kind of skirt, right? So, uh, in here, do we have any nice recipes? Right, I'm gonna buy cake recipe. Hmm. Oh, the cookie recipe was it there the whole time? Please don't tell me it was. Regardless, now I can pick that up. In fact, I'm going to go with the cake recipe. 
not enough monies for the other recipe, but we got lots of recipes today, which was wonderful. Okay, Estelle, I have things to talk to you about. Darling, so good to see you. I wanted to talk to you about something. Heat lamp from Maya? Emergency heat lamp, huh? Does this have anything to do with her owl chicks she was trying to hatch? Yes, her old lamp keeps going out. Oh dear. Well, luckily, I have just the lamp. Guaranteed to stay on and strong. Here you go. Don't worry about the cost. I'll talk with Maya later. You run that back to her right away. Thanks, Estelle. I did the thing. What's that? Kiva loves her new chair? Well, I should hope so, with how much that thing cost. Thanks again. You really saved me there. Here, let me pay you back. We still don't have quite enough to buy that other recipe, though. Oh, that's a shame. All right, I, I think time to go and uh, see Autumn. And then time to go and round up some capybaras. So that was a good little a good little run there. I should have picked up more quests, but again, I always feel a lot less, um, like, frantic, I think would be the word for it. A, a lot less frantic when I'm not just picking up quests and I have a massive quest log. I'd rather just go and do my quests and then find new quests from people. And I know that probably isn't as efficient, but it feels a lot more controlled and manageable to me. So this is the way to Autumn's house. Why does everyone have to live on top of a massive hill, I swear? I'm so glad to have my arctic fox mount. Oh, there we are! Look, we can see! See? See? It's a cat with a bell! The mountain is a cat with a bell! Oh, you can kind of see that on the map as well. The mountain is a cap with a bell, a cat with a bell even. Look at that, look at that. My hair is so awesome. Hi Autumn. How are you today, cat girl? Autumn the cat girl. Greetings traveller. I did the thing. Have you made it to the mountains and back already? Yeah, I talked to Lumi too. Really? How did that go? I think I might have gotten through to her. I still think the two of you should have a heart to heart about things. Really? How did- oh. And you need to renegotiate the discount you gave her. She feels uncomfortable about it now. Gosh, I told her it wasn't a big deal, but I guess I wasn't listening to her when she said it mattered. Thanks, Traveller. I'll take my potions up there myself next time. Here, let me thank you for all your help. Cool, extra mana for me. Right, so the next thing we want to do is head to Cat Mountain. Whee! Oh, we can just jump over the river. What? That's so much better. Okay, so. Let's, oh, hang on, Lumi, are you down the bottom? Yeah. Hmm. Probably going to see Maya, actually. But yeah, in the meantime, I actually have capybaras I need to get, and then I, oh, you know what? You know what I should have done first? While Lumi is down here as well, actually, before I go capybara hunting, let's make a cookie with my new recipe. I know I keep changing my mind, but... And this makes the most sense right now. Okay, let's head in and make a cookie. Whee! Look at all the recipes I got now! So many! Cookie! Okay, so flour. Mom. Chocolate. Chuck them all in. Vanilla. Egg. Um, the egg almost didn't go in then. Butter. Uh, sugar. Boom. 
cookie is made. I swear that cookie looks like it's going to taste like, you know, party rings. I don't know if anyone like whether it's uh, only a UK thing or whether you have them in America as well and in other parts of the world. But, but party rings are amazing. They're, very, they're like an iced biscuit. And that cookie looks like a party ring, only bigger. And that looks so amazing. <laughs> right, okay, so. Or maybe just iced shortbread. Although I sometimes find iced things a bit too much. Like iced mince pies are just too sweet for me. And that's saying something. I have a mega sweet tooth. Mega sweet tooth. So I figure now, if Lumi is still around like straight outside my house, great. Hello, I hope you're doing well today. Need anything? I feel a lot better once the ca capybaras are back. Oh no, Lumi is the one with the cari capybaras. So it's not Lumi, sorry, it's Freya I need to give the biscuit to. But that's fine, because I need to go up there anyway to do capybara stuff, so. Silly me saying it was Lumi when it was Freya. I clearly need more mince pies. <laughs> but not with icing on. Okay, right, so so far no capybaras have been found. But I believe there is one up here somewhere. Not see. Oh, there's one. Hi. Come here. Right. Animal command. Mm. I don't know if follow me would work. I may just need to run them all up the mountain. Let's see if follow me does work. Because I because there's three of them to get, so Follow me. You following? Okay, cool. I believe there's another one I saw kind of around this area. I can also try and hand in my cookie. But I don't know where the third one will be. Hello, you. No, don't you run away. Come here. Okay. Animal command, follow me. Okay, now we're going to give Freya her cookie. Ooh, oh, you! I did the thing. Hey, you're back, so how did it go? Maya wanted you to have this. Cookies, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, fantastic! Oh, that's so sweet of her, and you, and the cookies. Sorry, I just really love cookies. I'm going to go and enjoy this right now. Thank you so much for helping us out. The long distance is less tough. With such a great friend to bridge the gap. No problem. Enjoy your cookies. Got some furniture for that. Nice. Okay, so we've got two capybaras. Should hopefully be following me. Along with my arctic fox. Wonderful. Okay, so let's see if we can find the third one anywhere. If not, we'll just take these two back. I mean, it's probably fine to ride the fox. I just need to keep an eye and make sure these guys are still following. Yeah, they are still following. Okay. So it's just a case of where the third one is. But I'll be a lot more free to go find the third one uh, once these two are back in their place. At least I hope so. I don't, know where, I don't know where that third one is at all. Nope, not around there. Come on then, guys. Up here. Back to the hot springs. There we go. Oh yeah, it looks like they're just 
naturally going down. No, no, they're not. Ah, I'll tell them to be free. You going back in your place? I'm just going to go down to the hot springs. Maybe then they'll realise that's where they're meant to be. Be free, friendo. Be free, uh, Captain Barra. Okay, so hopefully they'll just hang around in the hot springs. So we still got one to find. So I already looked kind of around the bell, I didn't find him there. I didn't find them on the way up anywhere, so we are still one capybara short. Which is not good. So I'm just going to go down the other path and see if they're down there. Hey, Lumi. She said that they'd be around the area somewhere, so there might be somewhere down here. Unless I've gone straight past it and not seen it. Which is entirely the sort of thing I might do. But the only place I haven't looked is along this path. And then also along the path to... Um, I think it's Cutie City. I think I might see a little capybara, a little tiny one. I did have a feeling about this area. Okay, hello. Hi. Your name is Cappy. Right, let's uh, get you to follow me. Well, um, that's interesting. I have a capybara on my head who is wearing my hat and I am riding an arctic fox. That's what the deal is right now. Yep. We'll take you back home, little tiny cappy. Is that why you're called Cappy? Because you're a cap. Like a cap that goes on my head. Because that's quite funny. You're, you're a Cappy Barra and you're also a cap. I might go and talk to the polar bears even though like they are... Um, I'll t actually take them all the way up and then I'll talk to Lumi on the way back down. Yeah, even though they are... I want to leave them to be free. I don't want to take them to the cafe. Because A, they are, like, very dangerous animals. And B, I don't want to split any of them up and I don't have really enough space for them. But it would be so cool to ride a polar bear. Alright then, Cappy. Let's get you back in there with your friends. Be free! Um. No, hold, hold the pet. Um. How entirely do I get Cappy off my head? Oh, there we go. Don't ask me what I did there. Animal command, be free. There you go, Cappy. That was so fun. I liked that a lot. Does Cappy, did Cappy get to keep the headgear? Yeah, Cappy got to keep what I was wearing on my head. 
<laughs> so good. That's so cute. I love that so much. Okay. I don't know where my Arctic wolf went. I'm just going to run out of the door and he should catch me up. And then we'll see if we can find Lumi on the way out. Arctic fox. Where are you? Uh, no idea. Okay, I'm more and more shiny every time I see you. Okay. Let us let us go and find Lumi. She's still trying to walk up the slope. I know it's a long way and all, but... You're getting a bit tired. Do you want a ride on my Arctic Fox? i bring one of the capybaras down. Lumi, hello. I hope you're doing well today. I did the thing. Thank you so much. The onsen just doesn't feel complete without the capybaras around. I want you to have this recipe. It's for taiyaki, my favourite food. Oh, cool. Loads of money as well. Nice. Uh, need anything? Not at the moment. Okay, fine. Perfect, in fact. Right, so I want to talk to Maya about the bird eggs, and then we'll probably go to sleep and end the episode there. But I found all the capybaras, so that was fantastic. We sorted out the issue between um, Autumn and Lumi. So they'll uh, get together again. We ferried snacks between uh, Freya and Maya, my two owl girls. So yes, we've done quite a lot. I'm going past all these animals all the time and I should at least be talking to them, at least be like saying hi. Oh yeah, snowy deer. So now when I go into my animals uh, menu, I should be able to see them under the free room. The same next time I go past the polar bear. So we've got Char, Calico, Captain Barra, Frendo, Cappy, and the Snowy Deer. I am so tempted to rename that to Snow Idea. <laughs> like the really old uh, joke, what do you call a deer with no eyes, no idea. Oh no, I'm I'm riding sorry, sorry Arctic Fox. I was riding around on a deer because it was the same colour as you. <laughs> because my powers of observation are that amazing. Okay, do we want to go see Maya first? It is nearly 11 o'clock. I think we can go over there really quickly. As long as she is by her house. Hello, I have a heat lamp for your little owlets. Hello there. I did the thing. Hi, you got the heat lamp. That's amazing news. You're just in time. This one died on me again. Oh gosh, for a second there I thought she meant the owls, not the lamp. They haven't started hatching yet. I'll turn the new one on and it should only take a minute to warm them up. Soon I'll be able to welcome these little ones to the world. They still need to stay under the heat lamp for a while, even once they're born. They might not have made it if it weren't for your help. But now I know they'll be okay. Thank you so much. I have so much money now. So cool. All right, time to go back home and go to bed. I, we've done some really good work today. We have no active quests. So I'm going to go to sleep and then tomorrow we'll just go around the town, pick up quests from everybody and uh, complete those quests. And I'm going to see like if there's any... I don't know if I just need to follow the quest lines until eventually I find ways into the other areas. Or whether I can just try and bust into them. But honestly, they do look... Most of them look like it'll be something like get some help fixing a bridge, get some help um, getting these cones out of the way. But what I might do is just go up to, say, Cutie City, for example, and just see if um, if anything sort of pops up 
we might need to go there before we get a quest to unlock it, but we'll have to see. Like I say, I'll just go get quests off everybody tomorrow and we'll see what happens. So there we are. That is another day done and dusted. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Calico, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome. <laughs>